so thank you for being here. Uh, I saw this, I, I was, uh, I think in Seattle, somebody showed me a, a week ago, um, and now it's up to 44 million views. So it has really gone viral. A lot of people have seen this, and I'm so glad that they have. So I, tweet, I saw it, I tweeted it, and I, I wanted to meet you right away. So thank you for being here. Thanks for having yeah. me on. Thank yeah. You, John. Yeah. yeah, thank you. So it was amazing because it almost seemed like you set that up, like that guy was a plant, because your, your answer was so eloquent, and you just, just to answer that and then to go on and say everything you said was just beautiful. We visited every single one of the 254 counties of Texas, and then this question comes up about kneeling uh, at these NFL games to call attention to um, the, the deaths and the shootings of unarmed black men in this country. And so I just gave the answer that was on my mind, um, had never been asked the question before, tried, tried to be honest, and um, that's, that's what came out. And, and I hope, if nothing else, uh, we're able to give the people of Texas our, our honesty and have the courage of our convictions on the issues that matter most. I thought it was a, a brilliant answer. I thought everything that you said was amazing, but then I also heard that a lot of people were very angry about it. Yeah, so, some people are upset, and I tried to say at the outset of the answer, listen, you, you can come to a different conclusion on this. It doesn't make you any less American. There's a guy that, that I absolutely adore, an all-time hero of mine, Vietnam-era veteran, Bobby Ronhell in El Paso, Texas. And he got in touch with me afterwards. He said, I was, Beto, I've, I've worked with you on the VA. We turned it around in El Paso. You've been a leader on expanding mental health care for, for veterans in this country. But that answer really disappointed me. Um, and and that, that hurt me to hear that. And yet it's important for me to hear that. And Bobby and I are going to be friends and, and we're going to be okay. And this country's going to be okay. But it's hard to think of a major or important or significant change that we've made as a country that wasn't painful, that didn't require these, these difficult conversations, um, these unguarded moments with one another that ultimately produce change and progress in, in the right direction. And so I hope in some small way we've contributed to that in the conversation that we've had that's been shared now, and also in this campaign that we're running, not against anyone, not against a political party, but for this country at this moment of truth. This, this moment will define us, I, I feel, for forever. That's, that's what, for me, is so thrilling about this moment. We will decide the future right now, uh, and two months to go until the 6th of November when we, when we I decide. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. It's so. very important. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so... So you, you, I, you know, I, I said I, I saw the what you said that, and uh, you know, and someone showed it to me, and I was like, I, I want, I tweeted out, I want to meet you, and you're here. Thank you so much for being here. And then I heard that uh, that you kind of got attacked for for coming here. Yeah, I mean, um, try to make anyone happy um, as as you run for office or, or serve in, in public office. Y you can't do it. But but uh, if you don't mind me saying, t to me, you embody so much of what the country needs right now. You, you are kindness, you are joy, you're meeting difficulty and disappointment with a power and joy of connecting with people and bringing the best out of people. And so if there's a way that we can connect with what you are doing, um, with the viewers who watch this show, if I can make my wife Amy, who's here, uh, even happier right there, um, you know, then, then I'm gonna do it. And, um, and you were very kind to have us on and, um, you know, I. I think that's what the country needs right now, the ability to have conversations about the things that we're excited for, the things we want to do, um, not, not so much uh, the, the things that we're afraid of, not the smallness or the littleness or the paranoia of the moment, the bigness. And, yeah. and I feel that with you. So thank you for having me on. I think that you're a brilliant man. I, I just want to hear. Um, so the president uh, seems to tweet a lot. He, he tweeted uh, about you, and uh, he said that he was going to come to Texas and he was going to campaign for Ted Cruz, which I found interesting because I thought he didn't like him. Um, but uh, So he's going to campaign for Ted Cruz, and uh, he tweeted out... Uh, I'm picking the biggest stadium in Texas uh, we can find. Uh, and his opponent, you, uh, is a disaster for Texas. He's weak on Second Amendment, crime, borders, military, and vets. So I want to give you a chance to respond to that. Well, first of all, we welcome the president to, to Texas, and we are glad that he's coming. Texas is the most diverse state in, in the country. It's the defining immigrant story and experience. We should, Republicans and Democrats together, be able to lead the way not only to stop taking kids from parents, not only to free dreamers from the fear of deportation and make them U.S. citizens on that same day, but, but to lead in, in a bold, ambitious way that makes the most out of all of us, including those who choose to be here. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball-peen hammer. 
and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Ah!